What's going on guys, Zach Nix here? My bad. So, um, Kira One asked me what is my favorite game of all time. Um, my bad, hold on. It's hard to do it. <laughs> Alright, so, in order to tell you what my favorite game is, I kind of got to go in succession. Tell you, because I have a lot of favorite games. Um, on regular Nintendo, it was um, DuckTales. I always loved DuckTales. On Super Nintendo, that's where the big range games come from. The Super Nintendo, you've got Super Mario Bros. All Star, Mario Kart, um, Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy III, depending on where you live. Um, a lot of them, a lot of games on Super Nintendo. Chrono Trigger, um, on Genesis. Um, I like the Sonic games also. Love Sonic games, my favorite. But my best, um, biggest favorite was. Um, Fantasy Star, which I still play the Fantasy Star Universe games till this day. You know, I don't need to play it online. People like, you know, I know the online went off on the PC and the PlayStation 2. I don't need online to play it. I like, I like it regardless. I never really played it online, even when um, the original one came out. Um, Sega City, I chose Lunar. <laughs> Always a Lunar in Sega City. Sega Sonic CD was nice. I like, like I like Lunar. There was Time Girl. Tom Girl was nice too. Um, but yeah, um, Atari 2600 Kangaroo. That was my first ever video game I've ever played. Was Kangaroo. True, true story. Um, what else? Um, PlayStation. Also, Lunar. Lunar, come on, story complete. My favorite one. Um, Xbox and PlayStation 2, both of them. I gotta say, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I was not a big fan of. Um, I played um, Halo 2, but not really. You know, and my PlayStation 2 was alright. But honestly, I, I mean, I guess an uh, ending game beside that, I would have to be. Um, Maybe Kingdom Hearts? I don't know. I really wasn't a fan of Kingdom Hearts, but I, I mean, it was alright, but I don't know. Kingdom Hearts was like iffy for me, you know? I mean, I like the fact that I got to play the Disney character and whatnot, you know, but I don't know. Anyway, um, after that, let's see, we got Xbox 360, Halo 3. I gotta say Halo 3. A lot of people are like, well, I know you right now, you're bugging out, but honestly, Halo 3. I love Halo 3. Um, on PlayStation 2, 3 rather, I have to say it was, um, well, fuck you, bitch. My bad. <laughs> Always down bad boys, bitch. Go home. Anyway, so, um, PlayStation 3, it has to be Uncharted 2. It would have been um, Heavy Rain, but I don't know. Uncharted 2 just really brings out for me. Um, and also, of course, can't leave out the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast, Shamu, was definitely my favorite. The Sega Saturn was Guardian Heroes. I loved freaking Guardian Heroes all the time, playing Guardian Heroes constantly. Um, same thing with Shamu. In fact, I'm trying to find a place to download Shimbo so I can play it on my PC. I actually have the first disc, but don't have the second disc. So I guess I can start playing it now if I really wanted to. But, you know. Anyway, so. Um, what else? Um, oh, GameCube. I can't forget GameCube. Oh, and other than, for, for the GameCube. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash. I really like Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, me and my wife, we've been, we actually stopped playing that maybe like two, three months ago, and we pretty much destroyed the whole damn game. But we were like absolutely loving that game, like from top to bottom, just playing Double Kart Double Dash all the time. Double Dash. Seriously, every time she turned around, she's like Mario Kart. I'm like, come on, babe, <laughs> again. <laughs> mm. So. I mean, personally, I just think she'd like it because, you know, 
she's like bend over in the car, driving the car, and I got her from the back. You know, I I think she's just a freak like that, but you know, whatever. Um, so the Wii, um, Smash Brothers, Smash Brothers definitely for the Wii. So, oh no, ooh, it would have been Smash Brothers, but now it's um, New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. Um, N64, can't forget the big 64. Um, Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark was fantastic. So, a little bit, little bit of um, history. Did you guys know that, you guys know how we are constantly dealing with these shooters these days? Like, it's constantly shooter after shooter, first person shooter, first person shooter. Did you know that um, years back we had the same problem? Yeah, it was actually side scrolling shooters, constantly with the side scrolling shooters. It was always, it was the, the thing that day. So, constantly side scrolling shooters. And at one point, it was freaking JRPGs up the yin yang, like constantly. But, I mean, that's one thing that um, the industry does. Like, once they find something that really works, they just constantly continue to go with it. And it's kind of annoying. I guess it depends on how you look at it. But, mm, I love cookies and cream ice cream. But that's it. But my all-time favorite game would have to be Lunar. I'm a big fan of Lunar. Um, in fact, like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to show you just, I have the original disc. Here's Lunar. I see Eternal, Lunar Eternal Blue or Lunar 2, whatever. And here is Lunar, um, the Silver Star. Original, original Sega CD version. So, anyway, so that's my question. The answer, Lunar. Um, specifically, which one? Lunar, the Silver Star, complete. Just, well, actually, Lunar Eternal Blue, complete. This is one of my favorite, absolute favorite ones. Okay? So, I'm just letting you guys know, um, Soon, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, different videos, and what's going to happen is basically I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite games of all times. Um, of course, DuckTales will be in it. You know, you'll get all the games. My, my first video probably will be Lunar. You know, I'll kind of give you guys a hint on how it was playing Lunar back in the day. You know, not the, the original Lunars, you know. So, I hope to see you guys soon. You know, check out these vids. Next one up will probably be Lunar 1, but you got to be good night. Zap out.